This morning, we're helping you prepare for New Year's <sighs> weekend, how local officials are working to keep you safe for the upcoming holiday. Plus, with rising food prices, a local food bank shares how they're keeping up with such high demand. Well, after hitting 55 yesterday, the cold front is dropping our temperatures uh, for this morning. We'll take a look at how we will fare this afternoon. Coming up. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning, the last Friday of the year. It is December 30th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Shane Hogan. Chris has the day off today. It's hard to believe we're already here wrapping up 2022 and uh, fun to do it with you. Yeah, our first time co-anchoring together. So great way to start the weekend off. Long weekend for a lot of folks. Yeah. I know you're going to be working. You're going to be holding down the four for us here. At yeah, Street. that's right. Join me in the mornings uh, tomorrow and Sunday. But yeah, hope everyone enjoys their long weekend. But hey, Kelly Slifka is out there telling us what the weather is going to be like this weekend. If you do have some plans coming up. Yeah, it looks like the weekend pretty quiet. The only thing you might have to dodge is a brief shower or a snowflake. It looks like a New Year's Eve night, but it's not a big deal. Not going to ruin anybody's plans. No big storm systems headed away until early next week. So yesterday we pretty much melted all the snow in our backyard. That's because we had temperatures in the 50s. Now we're down to 36. That cold front that came in just after midnight. The uh, temperatures have been dropping gradually and we've uh, fallen about four degrees over the last couple of hours. So not a dramatic drop, but you can see off to our west. It is quite a bit cooler with that westerly wind. Not any kind of precipitation around the area. So no concerns on the roads this morning. Temperatures obviously above freezing either way. But also we've got some drier air working in behind the front, so that's evaporating, getting rid of some of that moisture. So a lot of the roads are just drying up now. Temperatures this morning hovering right around freezing throughout the morning hours. Probably bump up a little bit. Some of these clouds trying to thin out just a little bit this afternoon. May bump us in the mid uh, mid 30s. Tonight, though, temperatures will cool off pretty quickly behind that front as we start to see a little bit of clearing. 36 right now. We're headed into the lower 30s the next few hours. Winds a little bit of a factor this morning. They should come down a little bit. As mentioned, headed in the weekend pretty quiet and actually some milder temperatures as we head back in the 40s. More coming up. I was one of those crazy folks wearing shorts yesterday. I had my windows open. It felt Great. It was great. Kelly, thank you. Well, New Year's Eve is tomorrow, of course, and many of you might already have your plans for the big night. The Tavern League of Wisconsin is asking people to plan ahead and make sure they have a safe ride on New Year's Eve. More than 2,000 Tavern League member establishments are again offering free rides home. Within the year, we've given out 90,000 rides, which is a lot of rides, and we are involved in 62 counties. Um, and we are working with the lift program to try to get the lift program so that the lift program and the Dane County Tavern League can work close together. Thanks in part to the Safe Ride program, Wisconsin has seen a 44% decline in OWI convictions since 2007 and a nearly 50% decline in alcohol-related fatalities in that same time period. And with 2023 just a few days away, many businesses are preparing to hold celebrations around the area. At the Tipsy Cow in Madison, there are plans just in case things get out of hand. The Madison Police Department says it's a big night for alcohol-related calls and they will have extra officers around the downtown area. Tipsy Cow also has plans for customers to safely celebrate the holiday and help is just a call away. We do have, you know, posted behind the bar numbers for local law enforcement, non-emergency numbers, but, you know, for the most part, as long as everyone's having a good time and behaving themselves uh, accordingly, we hopefully don't have to make any of those calls. The police department is also communicating with local bars ahead of time to prepare for New Year's Eve's festivities. Well, food is typically at the center of gatherings this time of year, but for many, paying for food has been harder than ever. Our Nicole Herzog went to Second Harvest Food Bank to find out how they're keeping up with such high demand. Demand has doubled and even tripled at many local food pantries. It's beyond what we expected. Second Harvest Food Bank distributes food to hundreds of pantries across 16 counties in southwestern Wisconsin. And they say the need for food is nearing levels at the height of the pandemic. We're already at 30% above our planned distribution for, for the first six months. Just why demand has increased can be hard to pin down, but Second Harvest CEO Michelle Orge says inflation has made food prices tough for families to afford. Plus, the loss of pandemic-related support, like the child tax credit, has made it even more difficult. 
Orge says Second Harvest takes both physical and monetary donations, but financial contributions are the best way to help. These donations allow them to purchase things like eggs, dairy, and produce that can be hard to transport and give by physical donation. We can take $10 and turn that into 25 meals. She says many people don't realize how common food insecurity is. And when people donate, they're often helping people they know in the community. It is a lot of folks' neighbors. It's the kids going to school with your kids. It's something that folks don't see. That was Nicole Herzog reporting. You can also support Second Harvest by signing up to volunteer at their warehouse or bringing in food products from their list online. To developing news now here, three people have been charged with shooting and killing an on-duty postal worker earlier this month in Milwaukee. According to a criminal complaint, a missing package of marijuana sent through the mail might have been the motive. Andre Cross was killed on Friday, December 9th while working his mail route near 65th and Lancaster in Milwaukee. On the day of Cross's murder, the complaint says residential surveillance cameras showed two of the men following Cross in a car with no license plates while he was delivering mail. The video shows them allegedly approaching Cross and a gunshot can be heard in the footage. Other postal workers, though, are happy to see some closure in this case. Sense of relief. Uh, relief for Andre's family and uh, relief for the letter carrier family that uh, he was a member of for many, many years. People are happy. Uh, not going to, you know, until it's it's over, it's not over. Like, but uh, we're we're generally happy over the uh, the results of what's going on today. Charles Duckworth Jr. and Kevin McKay, both of Milwaukee, were charged with the murder or the aided and embedded murder of Cross. If convicted of either offense, they both could face life in prison. A third person, Chanel McCoy, was charged with providing false statements to law enforcement while they investigated. Developing right now, two people were killed in a rock fall in California's Yosemite National Park. That's according to the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office. On Tuesday, Yosemite tweeted that El Portal Road was closed for over four hours because of the rocks. There was no mention of any injuries or deaths at that time. No other details were released about that incident. Well, 6.07 is your time, and there were a number of big stories this year. Yeah, our Chris Stanford brings us the five most clicked on stories of 2022 on channel3000.com. Our fifth most clicked on story of the year, headed up north, doctors want you to be aware of a unique illness. Posted right before the start of the gun deer season, a warning about blastomycosis, an infectious disease especially prevalent up north. Number four. UWPD investigating after photos, video of UW volleyball team members shared without consent. In October, this story went viral and was picked up by national news outlets. The UW Athletic Department called it a significant and wrongful invasion of the student athlete's privacy. Authorities have not arrested anyone in connection. Number three, DATCAP confirms highly pathogenic bird flu in Jefferson County. It's gonna ripple negatively through that whole system, and that's the that, that's a big concern. Bird flu returned to Wisconsin in March. The case was found in commercial poultry flocks, the first case in the state since 2015. The virus would then spread to more than a dozen other state counties. Number two, three local breweries named in the top 20 craft breweries. Here's a sign Wisconsin still loves beer. Our second most popular story of the year showcased a trio of brewers recognized by the Brewers Association. Stevens Point Brewery ranked 18th in production. Minhas and Monroe, 17th. And New Glarus Brewing Company came in at number 12. And the top story of the year on Channel3000.com? I was just amazed and really mad. Columbia County teens trophy buck stolen. Viral Facebook posts helps get deer back. Yeah, I'm just excited to do more hunting now. This story blew up online during the deer hunt. 15-year-old Garrett Dimes shot the 22-point buck in Columbia County. Someone then stole it and had it processed. The skin and head were later returned. The sheriff's office was able to track down the suspects, and they were charged with theft and trespassing. They thanked the thousands of people who shared the story on social media. These were the top five articles of the year on Channel3000.com. Our Chandler Halderson trial page topped them all, though, with 137,000 views. Another page got 240,000. That's our elections page. I'm Chris Stanford. Back to you.
Our thanks to Chris Stanford for putting that together. A lot happened in the year of 2022. Well, coming up, we have all your festivities happening this weekend in the 608. Why there's still some time to enjoy the holiday spirit. But first, we want to take a live look at Times Square in New York City this morning, which oh, is yeah. all ready to break in the new year tomorrow. It's quiet now, but we know it won't be quiet come tomorrow. Remember, you can always watch CBS News New Year's Eve live. We'll be right back. It's the Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale on now. Get top name brands of furniture for every room in your house with Serta Queen sets from $3.99 and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale, open New Year's Day 11 to 4. Garage doors do not like the cold weather at all. As soon as it gets cold springs, parts will burn. At Precision, we can fix any make or model, usually the same day. Rain, sleet, or snow, we're good to go. Precision Door Service, the name you can trust. We asked people to give their honest feedback on how wrinkles around their eye area and under eye puffiness looked after trying Tint and Titan for the first time. So with foundation, normally it just kind of, you know, you just cover up and conceal things. But with Tint and Titan, it actually changes the way the skin looks. The lines are actually gone. So you don't get any of that buildup within them and the creases that you normally would see with when you wear foundation. 40s is a bit of a shocker for me because 40s, I noticed the skin under my eye is getting very loose. And then 50s hit. And I'm 54 and I really notice the difference in the firmness of my skin here and especially here. I'm glad there's products like Tint and Titan out there so that I can just put this on and not worry about what I didn't do in my 40s, my 30s, and my 20s. And it looks like I always have. It's a pleasure and it's actually a gift for anyone. Tint and Titan shrinks under eye puffiness, smooths out wrinkles and fine lines around the eye area, and provides tinted coverage to hide dark circles and skin imperfections, making you look fresh and young. Younger. Tint and Titan is the only cosmetic that blends a beautiful tinted cream to cover uneven skin tone and dark circles with silicate technology that smooths out under eye puffiness and wrinkles, making the skin around your eye area look flawless for up to eight hours. I will be turning 59 in June of this year. Using Tint and Titan, for me, I'm actually very confident right now that my wrinkles won't be as obvious. It is giving me the support that I think reminds me that I'm at my best right now. Finally, there's a tinted eye cream to cover dark circles and uneven skin tone. And since Tint and Titan works in 10 minutes and lasts up to eight hours, you can look your best without getting injections or fillers. Get beautiful, lightweight, tinted coverage, plus that smoother, younger, wrinkle-free look from years past in 10 minutes. A look that will make you feel beautiful and confident. Try it this new year for only $19.95. Plus, get free shipping and handling. Visit TintandTitan.com or call the number on your screen. When you're ready to go, but static says, whoa. Try Bounce Last and Fresh. More freshness, more softness, less static, less wrinkles. New Bounce Lasting Fresh. Yeah, it's the sheet. It's the Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale on now. Get top name brands of furniture for every room in your house. With hundreds of Lazy Boy recliners in stock starting at $3.99 and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale. Open New Year's Day 11 to 4. News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. 613, the new year in the 608 is fast approaching. There's still some time to celebrate the season if you're not over Christmas quite yet. A lot of holiday-related activities, and this is really your final chance to check some of them out this weekend. That includes the zoo lights at Henry Vilas Zoo. You can experience the zoo after hours under the glow of almost 1 million lights. Tonight is the final night of zoo lights. This is a time ticket event, and tickets are required. Individual tickets are $10, group four-pack $35, children three and under are are free. Well, today is also the final day of the 2022 Holiday Tree Show in Janesville. The Rock County Historical Society has 100 Christmas trees inside the Lincoln Tallman home. An additional 65 live evergreens are decorated outside. Tickets are available online and at the door. Prices are $10 for adults, $5 for children 10 and under, and free for children 4 and under. 
Well, all aboard the Holiday Express model train and flower show at the Oberg Botanical Gardens. You can enjoy large-scale model trains from the Wisconsin Garden Railway Society. They'll be chugging through a festive scene overflowing with poinsettias and evergreens. This is happening through tomorrow. Tickets can be paid at the door. $8 for adults, $5 for children 6 and over, and free for children 5 and under. It's also free for Ulbrich members. Remember, you can always see what's happening in your area by going to channel3000.com, either on the In the 6 OH section or the Community Calendar. A lot going on this weekend, a lot of fun stuff going on, and kind of wrap up the holiday season. Yeah, right? wrapping up the holiday season, wrapping up 2022, really a time just to get out there and enjoy it. Yeah, have fun out there. And hey, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out on social media or email us for a chance to be featured. Now let's send things over to Kelly Slifka. He's here with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning. We uh, did, did wrap up yesterday on a very mild note. In fact, we actually uh, broke a record yesterday. We got up to a 55 degrees. That's way above our average, which is now at 28. So well above average. Uh, we're going to drop now over the next uh, 12 hours or so. We're going to hold in the lower 30s today. We had a cold front arrive just after midnight. You'll notice a little bit of a westerly breeze. So right around freezing throughout the morning hours, we may nudge up into the mid 30s this afternoon as some of these clouds try to break up just a little bit. But we're down to 36 just after midnight. We were still well in the 40s. See off to the west, much cooler. 20s in Barocca and Prairie du Chien, even 19 right now in Decorah, Iowa. You can actually see across the county how temperatures are starting to fall off to the west. Below freezing in Cross Plains, Mount Horeb, and Perry up towards Sauk City. 31 in Wanakee. 36, one of the warmer spots right now here in the city of Madison. So we do have that cold front that is bringing us some cooler weather today. Still running above average. No precipitation with that front. It is going to be mild for this holiday weekend. However, we might see a brief rain or snow shower New Year's night. That's going to be about it. No big storm systems headed away until early next week. It looks like late Monday, mainly Monday night into Tuesday. And it looks like it's going to be mainly a rain event for us with the snow and mixed precipitation just to our north from, let's say, La Crosse toward Wisconsin Rapids. And then we're going to continue with our above average temperatures really across much of the country. But Definitely a good bet here in the Great Lakes region over on to the east, right into the first week of January. So we'll see our temperatures climb as we go through the weekend into the 40s, so very mild, and that's why I expect mainly a rain event for us as we'll see temperatures in the upper 40s, but likely to fall during the afternoon, and some of that may mix with a little bit of snow going into late Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, but it looks like the most of the precipitation, the most of the impacts are gonna be to our north. Temperatures today in the uh, 30s uh, with a little bit of sunshine trying to break it will be cooler this evening. Here comes that storm system next week, Monday night into Tuesday, mainly rain, maybe a mix up to our north, heavier snows in northern Wisconsin where they could be talking about over six inches of snow. For us, generally quiet into the weekend, maybe a brief shower or a flurry, it looks like Saturday night, New Year's Eve night. Better chance of more significant rain. This could be heavier rain for us, it looks like by Tuesday, Tuesday night. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Keeping an eye on this weekend. All right, here's sports director Zach Hanley with your morning sports. Wisconsin won the first ever holiday face-off last season in dramatic fashion. This year, Badgers looking to go back-to-back -back at Pfizer Forum and jumpstart the second half of their season. UW knocked off Lake Superior State in the semis. Now it's just Clarkson standing in their way for the title. Badgers spotted the Knights a two-goal lead and then went to work in the second. Cruz Lucius cleans up the mess in front of the net to put Wisconsin on the board. Well, that was it. Badgers fall 3-1 the as a final. In Peter Brenner's first year leading Memorial Hockey, there was no season. COVID canceled it, so he and his Spartans have kind of had to play catch-up. But what they've lacked in ice time together, Brenner's made up with his culture and the program's four pillars. First five, first five. Peter Brenner couldn't be in a better situation. One of those dream jobs. I graduated from Memorial, so it has a lot of meaning to me to, to be running this program. And the former Spartan has got this group of current Spartans bought in. Going into junior year with a brand new coach, brand new set of, you know, how we run things, and it's been, you know, a learning curve for sure, but I think we've been building on this year, and I think it's been working. Because Brenner is a no-nonsense guy. They understand that, that I'm going to get on him a bit if I don't, uh, uh, see what I want to see out of them. That builds his culture Walk. through four program pillars. He expects a lot out of us, but I wouldn't want anything less. Passion. Rip it across! Purpose, joy, and relentless. That's what he really drills into us is those four. So, I mean, that's what he expects out of us all the time. But Brenner wants his team to take those words Go. 
off the ice. It's not easy out there. It takes a lot of hard work to be successful. You have to have goals uh, so that uh, when you are faced with challenging decisions, those goals kind of guide you uh, down that pathway. When they're already successfully skating down. Not everything's all about hockey all the time, so he's thinking about future and how those words can benefit us throughout after hockey. Realistically, you know, you say work hard, you say passion, you say play with joy. Like, you're not talking about hockey in general. You can talk about life. You can you can use those in any aspect of your life. Thanks to Peter Brenner. New group! And his four program pillars. Huge high school girls hoops matchups on Prairie West hosting McFarland. First half, Anthony Gostin crosses over and then splashes home the triple to put the Wolves up four. She finished with 33 points. Spartans would battle back. Tegan Malini, unconscious in this one. She pulls up from deep to give McFarland the lead. Malini had a game-high 40, but the Wolves would get the last laugh. Marie Outlay takes it to the cup for two as Sun Prairie West knocks off McFarland in double overtime, 85 to 78. And the Badger women still looking for that first Big Ten win of the season. Wisconsin falls to Illinois, 79-63. Back to you. Coming up next, why you might not want to skip the bacon this morning. Mm, and coming up in our next half hour, hopefully some good news if you're flying southwest this holiday weekend. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. And if you haven't tried Plexiderm, we've created the best offer yet with our New Year's Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under-eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. Even the 11 lines between your eyes are visibly gone in minutes. Plexiderm works so well that celebrities in Hollywood and people just like you feel years younger in minutes. This is why I'm letting people try it for only $14.95 this New year at plexidermtrial.com so i've had under eye bags for a very long time and it sucks i have spent so much money on tons of eye creams eye gels finally i tried something called plexiderm and i'm not joking it works when i do a collage and everything is done it looks amazing that is exactly how plexiderm makes me feel i put it on my face and somehow some way i look together which is amazing i'm jackie and i took the plexiderm 10 minute challenge and so should you i'm neela i'm 61 years old i'm a professional personal trainer it's so important to be in good health and to be fit and take care of yourself how it makes you feel inside is amazing and yet when you look in the mirror what you see necessarily isn't what you feel inside plexiderm seriously honest to god it's amazing there's nothing there like the bags are gone the instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell rock. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms, rapidly reducing the appearance of under eye bags and wrinkles in minutes. This new year is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. So if under eye bags make you look tired or feel older, take action this new year and see that younger looking you. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Now hiring. Working with Cobuson, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit Cobuson.com to apply. Welcome back. 623 on a Friday morning. Kevin sharing his morning with us. Look at that. Another sundog. Yeah. What's Isn't that? Giving us all the... Do you know what a sundog is? I don't. It's that right there. <laughs> it's actually caused by ice crystals in the 
upper air, layers of the atmosphere. So it, oh, it's reflecting the sunlight. It's pretty cool. Look it is that. cool. Look I learned you something, something every day. day. You learned something new, even though we're still in 2022. Look so at you rhyming, final. too. I know. Look at that. I'd Kelly, not that's try to just do that. got a lot of knowledge here. <laughs> that's, that is fascinating. And, and uh, happy that some of that snow is off the ground. <laughs> yes, me too. Remember, you can always send us your pictures like Kevin's. If you send those sun dogs, we can teach Shane a thing or two. <laughs> Just use the hashtag MyNews3Morning. All right, you guys big fans of bacon? Of course. Yes. So everything is better with bacon, in my opinion. And if you agree, today is your day. Yeah, that's right. It's National Bacon Day, a day that reminds us that bacon is not just for breakfast. You can enjoy it on a burger or salad, as a pizza topping, or perhaps as a maple bacon donut. Have you guys ever had Yum. one of those? Yes, I sure have. Delish. Or chocolate-covered bacon on a stick. That one I'm a little skeptical of. <laughs> According to the National Day of Calendars, the United States and Canada make bacon from the pork belly. Other countries around the world use the side and back cuts of pork. Mm. Now, the meat is cured in either a salt brine, which is why it tastes so delicious, or a salt pack. It's either then dried, boiled, or smoked. And in 2020, listen to this, over half of the U.S. population said they ate a pound or more of bacon every year. See, I don't think like that. that's that much. No, it's not, and I think I'm <laughs> absolutely a part of this. How problem. do you know how much you eat? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know How either. do you quantify, yes, I just reached my pound of bacon. <laughs> every time year. I have bacon, I'm going to put it on the scale. <laughs> there you no. go. Oh, that breakfast looks oh, so I good, know. though, doesn't it? I'm uh, starving right now. It's always the struggle. We always talk about food on the morning show <laughs> because we get up so early. And it's just yeah. bad timing, too. I know. You can literally <laughs> hear my stomach growl during the morning show sometime, but yeah. Yeah, we uh, got uh, some milder temperatures headed away this weekend, but it did cool off quite a bit uh, overnight. No precipitation with the front that has passed through our area, but we are looking at a westerly wind up to around 10 miles per hour this morning. Yesterday we hit 55. We've been tailing off all night long behind the front, so not as warm as yesterday, but we're, we do have hopes for a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. Readings in the mid-30s, but we'll be back in the 40s this upcoming weekend. All right, pretty mild, still not too bad. Hey, we still got a half hour left here on News 3 Now this morning. We'll see you right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Ashley is having its biggest New Year's mattress sale ever. This weekend only. Save over $1,300 instantly on Beautyrest Select Mattresses. Or get five years no interest financing on all Purple and Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Happening this weekend only at Ashley. It's the Planet Fitness. You can still join the gym in 2022 sale. Now through December 30th. Join for just $1 down, $10 a month, and you can still do that thing you said you do 11 and a half months ago. All with no commitment. Cancel any time. Get tons of equipment in our clean and spacious clubs. It's not too late. This can still be your year. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. And pay nothing until January 17th. Hurry. Deal ends Friday, December 30th. Hey, I just got a text from my sister. You remember Rick, her neighbor? Sure, he's the 76-year-old guy who still runs marathons, right? Sadly, not anymore. What? You mean... Mm-hmm, just like that. Wow. So sudden. Um, we're not about to have the we need life insurance conversation again, are we? No, we're having the we're getting coverage so we don't have to worry about it conversation. So you're calling about the $9.95 a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that $9.95 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the $9.95 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. It could be the death of someone you know or a health scare. That's why today could be a great day to call for free information about Colonial Pen's 995 plan. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. This is permanent coverage. Just pay your premiums for lifelong security. The 995 plan is Colonial Pen's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Don't put it off. Take the first easy step. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. 
Call 1-800-290-3399 for your free information and free gift. That's 1-800-290-3399. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-290-3399. 1-800-290-3399. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen. Ashley is having its biggest New Year's sale ever. This weekend only, save up to 85% off furniture. Plus, take an additional 10% off when you spend $2,000 or more. And free platinum delivery. This weekend only at Ashley. Right now, burst pipes. Even though we're seeing milder weather this week, why officials want you to think about your plumbing in the cold. Plus, travel troubles, some potential good news for holiday travelers this weekend. An update from Southwest Airlines on when they say things should return to normal. And temperatures continue to drop behind our cold front. It's going to be a cooler day, but we will warm up for the weekend. We'll have a look coming up. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. It is Friday, December 30th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Shane Hogan. Chris Stanford has the morning off. Yeah, we're waiting for news from Miss Lee Lynchide really any moment. So I talked exciting. to her on the phone yesterday because everyone's been wondering where's baby Genthy? You know, the baby was due on Christmas Day. That's right. There was still no baby yesterday. She was supposed to be going in yesterday to get induced in the afternoon. Haven't heard any other updates other than that. Fingers so crossed. Keep uh, those positive vibes going for the Lynchides and Genthi family this yeah, morning. Yeah, we're looking forward to hearing the news and uh, sharing that moment with Leah for sure. Well, hey, let's get to the weather now. Kelly Slifka is out on the patio this morning with your first warm weather. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, quite a change from what we had uh, yesterday when uh, we saw temperatures in the 40s, even the 50s yesterday, and obviously that melted a lot of the snow here. All we have are some piles of snow on the sides. Basically got rid of all that snow we, that we accumulated last weekend. Right now we're at 36, so we're still above freezing. There's actually a secondary cold front. You can see those temperatures really t uh, dropping there in Viroqua, La Crosse, Black River Falls, and Decorah, Iowa, where it's down to 19. So these westerly winds will continue to drop our temperatures a few more degrees, then we'll probably hold steady throughout the lower 30s uh, throughout the afternoon. Right now we just have some clouds across the area. No precipitation to cause any problems on the roads and we got the uh, drier air in place so a lot of the moisture on the roads is evaporating so the roads should be pretty good this morning and either way we're still above freezing but we may get close to freezing throughout the morning hours in the afternoon may bump up a little bit maybe hitting the mid 30s as we try to get a little bit of sunshine across the area then we'll drop pretty quickly tonight with that uh, colder air moving in on some northerly winds so 36 right now that wind out of the west at six that'll be a factor this morning but should taper off later today and we have some hope for a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. We warm up nicely into the upcoming weekend. We'll be well above average for the last day of December, last day of 2022. And it looks like that mild weather will continue into next week. More coming up. Kelly, thank you. Remember, you can always stay on top of that changing Wisconsin winter conditions by downloading the First Warren Weather app. Just search for WIC Weather in your app store. And while last week's chilly temps may be far from our mind right now that it's warmed up, the Madison Fire Department wants you to think about your plumbing in the cold. MFD has responded to 32 calls involving burst pipes in just the last six days. They are only on scene to reset and ensure water doesn't get to electrical equipment and start a fire. So they want to get the word out because there's not much help someone can get once this happens. Really what we find, unfortunately, is that in these situations, the safety net around us is very thin. And the best thing you can do is find yourself some renter's insurance. Another tip officials have is to check your batteries and your thermostat because if that dies, your furnace will not know when it needs to turn on. As the east digs out from last week's deadly winter blast, several western states are now dealing with severe weather of their own. A major storm system moving across seven states this morning, dumping nearly a foot of snow in parts of Colorado. It even shut down the interstate and stranded drivers for more than nine hours. Heading into the holiday weekend, more rain and snows in the forecast from California to the Rockies, while a separate system will bring heavy rain to much of the east coast. Some good news for flyers this holiday weekend. Southwest Airlines says it has realigned its crews and fleet and expects to return to normal operations today. We've been following this story all week long. This comes after they had to scrap another 2,300 flights yesterday. The airline also said it will refund all canceled flights and urged customers to submit refund and reimbursement requests for meals, hotels, and alternate transportation. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg tweeted a message to Southwest customers 
promising to hold the airline accountable and encouraging affected travelers to reach out to his department. U.S. Department of Transportation has your back. I'm assigning U.S. DOT resources to follow through on every complaint that comes in to make sure that you get compensated. Buttigieg also sent a letter to Southwest Airlines warning that the department will use the fullest extent of investigative and enforcement powers to hold the company accountable if, quote, it fails to adhere to the promises made to reimburse passengers for costs incurred for alternate transportation. AAA activating its tow to go program to make sure you're able to get home safely if you indulge in some New Year's festivities this weekend. It provides impaired drivers a free ride and tow to somewhere safe within 10 miles. The free service is available to both members and non-members and runs through January 2nd. AAA says this service should be used as a last resort for drivers. It recommends everyone have a designated driver before going out drinking. And with New Year's Day falling on a Sunday this year, a reminder that Monday, January 2nd, will be the observed holiday. That means many places will be closed both Sunday and Monday, including government offices, many municipalities, and the post office. The Federal Reserve Banks will also be closed. They will reopen on Tuesday the 3rd. 635 right now. There were a number of big stories that were covered this past year. Our Chris Damper brings us the five most clicked on stories of 2022 on Channel3000.com. Our fifth most clicked on story of the year, headed up north, doctors want you to be aware of a unique illness. Posted right before the start of the gun deer season, a warning about blastomycosis, an infectious disease especially prevalent up north. Number four, UWPD investigating after photos, video of UW volleyball team members shared without consent. In October, this story went viral and was picked up by national news outlets. The UW Athletic Department called it a significant and wrongful invasion of the student athlete's privacy. Authorities have not arrested anyone in connection. Number three, DATCAP confirms highly pathogenic bird flu in Jefferson County. It's gonna ripple negatively through that whole system, and that's, the, that, that's a big concern. Bird flu returned to Wisconsin in March. The case was found in commercial poultry flocks, the first case in the state since 2015. The virus would then spread to more than a dozen other state counties. Number two, three local breweries named in the top 20 craft breweries. Here's a sign Wisconsin still loves beer. Our second most popular story of the year showcased a trio of brewers recognized by the Brewers Association. Stevens Point Brewery ranked 18th in production. Minhas and Monroe, 17th. And New Glarus Brewing Company came in at number 12. And the top story of the year on Channel3000.com? I was just amazed and really mad. Columbia County Teens Trophy Buck Stolen. Viral Facebook posts helps get deer back. Yeah, I'm just excited to do more hunting now. This story blew up online during the deer hunt. 15-year-old Garrett Dimes shot the 22-point buck in Columbia County. Someone then stole it and had it processed. The skin and head were later returned. The sheriff's office was able to track down the suspects, and they were charged with theft and trespassing. They thanked the thousands of people who shared the story on social media. These were the top five articles of the year on Channel3000.com. Our Taylor Halderson trial page topped them all, though, with 137,000 views. Another page got 240,000. That's our elections page. I'm Chris Stanford. Back to you. All right, Chris, thank you very much. What a year it was. Coming up on 638 on a Friday morning, let's go ahead and take a live look outside at this hour. Still no daylight. Those days are going to be getting longer yeah, here, though. They We're going to have more of it's an earlier coming. sunrise. It's coming, folks, in the new year here. Kelly Slifka is going to tell us just how long this mild weather is going to stick around and when we can expect some rain and snow in the first worn forecast. And coming up in the 608, we will look at the upcoming holiday activities taking place this weekend across southern Wisconsin. Stay with us. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Binax now gives you reliable results in 15 minutes and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. Binax now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! When I say I've been living Atkins for years, that doesn't mean I've been on a diet. 
for years. Of course, there are times when I want to lose a few pounds. So for me, it's Atkins to the rescue. And with Atkins, it doesn't have to take over your life. I mean, look at the great things you can have. Fresh recipes that deliver quality proteins and aren't full of sugars or refined carbs. Check out all their free tools and recipes at Atkins.com. No meetings, nothing to join. Did I mention it's all free? What did you find when you lost the weight? I found my smile. I found I could eat, really eat. Jenny just makes it simple. Simple. Learn how to get a free week of food with purchase. Jenny Craig, lose the weight. Find yourself. Garage doors are just like us. They don't like the cold weather. But if it breaks, Precision Garage Door is always ready. We always show up in a fully stocked vehicle so we can get the job done today. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Why get the updated COVID-19 vaccine? Because life's a little better when we're all boosted. It's the best way to protect yourself from COVID-19's most serious effects, especially if you're over 50 or have a weaker immune system. Give your health a boost. Find the updated COVID-19 vaccine near you at dhs.wisconsin.gov vaccine. Don't miss the Smith Brothers Factory Authorized New Year's Sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Binax now gives you reliable results in 15 minutes and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. Binax now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. News 3 Now is always on. Get the Channel 3000 app, activate the push alerts, and we will send you breaking news, traffic, and weather alerts as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. News 3 Now's call for action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed. More than a half million dollars recovered. And we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We're back at 641. The new year in the 608 is fast approaching this morning. There are a lot of holiday-related activities happening across southern Wisconsin this weekend. On New Year's Day Sunday, those looking for a healthy, refreshing kickoff to 2023 can join one of the first day hikes happening at Wisconsin State Parks, Forests, Trails, and Recreational Areas. First day hikes are an initiative from the National Association of State Park Directors to encourage active outdoor recreation on New Year's Day. Several properties are offering one to three mile hikes guided by property naturalists or local experts. You can learn more by going to the Wisconsin DNR's website. You don't even have to wait until the new year to celebrate. The Verona Public Library is hosting a noon Year's Eve party today. They're celebrating the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023 with dancing, activities, and refreshments this morning. It's for all ages throughout the library from 11 to noon. In Rock County, it's the final night for the Rotary Botanical Gardens Holiday Light Show in Janesville. This is their 26th annual event, ending the year with brightness and cheer. The gardens' paths feature more than 1.2 million lights, themed light displays and animations. The last ticket will be sold at 8.30 tonight, and those lights go out for the season. They'll go dark at 9. Remember, you can always see what's happening in your area by going to channel3000.com slash in the 608. There's also the Madison Magazine community calendar. Our friends over there are always helping us out as well. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on for people of all ages to have some fun. Again, you know, a good reminder, if you're not staying up till midnight, you can still celebrate this weekend. There's always an opportunity to. I know, like, usually, like, some of the streaming services do those countdowns as well for those parents that don't <laughs> want the That's kids genius. staying up too late. Yeah, so exactly. even for us, too, I'm like, it's hard to stay up that late now. Yeah. So. I'll be up with you Saturday and Sunday morning if you need something to do. Helping uh, us ring in the new year here on News 3 Now this morning. Yeah, it'll be a bright early morning. All right, thank you, Josh. Well, hey, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out on social media or email. 
for a chance to be featured. All right, let's send things over to Kelly Slifka. He's here now with your first warm weather. Yeah, I tell you what, if you are going to be headed out for New Year's Eve, it looks like most of the evening should be dry. And I know if you're going to be out toward midnight, probably not me, but that's when we'll have the best chance of seeing a little bit of rain coming in. So this is tomorrow. Starting off a little chilly in the upper 20s, maybe a little bit of fog, rise through the 30s, maybe getting close to 40. There should be some sun, at least for a time in the afternoon. Then as we go into the evening hours, the clouds will fill in. But as we get toward midnight, maybe 1 o'clock in the morning, might see a brief shower, and there might be a little bit of light snow mixed in with it. It's not going to be a big deal. It looks like it's going to be pretty light precipitation as that moves on through. Well, it felt more like St. Patty's Day than New Year's Eve yesterday. That is for sure. 55 degrees. We set a record here in Madison, so unusually mild weather, but it, that is coming to an end, at least temporarily. We're back in the 30s. You can see even cooler. There's actually a secondary cold front bringing some 20s there in La Crosse, Barroqua, and Black River Falls. Even across Dane County, it is starting to fall off below freezing as you get off to the west down to 20 in Sauk City, 30 in Cross Plains, 36 in Madison, 33 in Cottage Grove. Currently, we'll look at some clouds this morning. Some of these clouds are breaking up behind this cold front. Milder weekend headed our way. It looks like we'll get close to 40 tomorrow, probably be in the 40s on New Year's Day as we uh, ring in 2023. A storm system next week is the main storm system that we'll be contending with over the next seven days. That'll be bringing us mainly rain, and this could be some heavier rain here in southern Wisconsin with a quick turnover to some snow in northern parts of the state. But you see over the next uh, several days, we're going to remain above average while in the 40s, and even though we will drop off behind that storm system, still running above our average, which is around 27, 28 degrees. So we have that westerly wing bringing in some drier air, so a little bit of sunshine trying to break through. We'll be in the low to mid 30s throughout the afternoon. We will cool off tonight. It'll be back in the 20s with that northerly wind, but it should be quiet overnight tonight. Maybe a little bit of fog tomorrow morning, a little bit of sunshine tomorrow afternoon as we get up close to 40, and it won't be until tomorrow night. Later tomorrow night, mainly toward midnight, you can see a band of some light rain, maybe a little bit of a mix moving through fairly quickly. won't amount to too much. It's mainly Monday into Monday night. That's the storm system that we're going to contend with. Mainly rain, but there will be that uh, quick uh, turnover to snow as you go into northern Wisconsin. Really heavy snow up there. We'll see some heavier rain mainly. Some of that may mix a little bit of snow as we go into a Wednesday. Temperatures in the 40s, though, into the weekend early next week before we tail off back in the 30s much of next week, but still above average. Certainly not feeling like the end of the year right now. <laughs> not yet anyway, and I don't see any big Arctic air masses coming our way anytime soon. All right, Kelly, thank you. Time right now, 646. As we bid farewell to 2022, we want you to meet the staff that brings you the best news coverage all year long. Here are the faces of News 3 Now wishing you a happy new year.
I tell you what, it's a, a real pleasure and joy to work with such a great group of people and uh, honored to share uh, the whole year with them and, and getting to recognize the people too that you don't see every day. You know, that's the thing is you see a lot of us on TV, but we couldn't do it with all the folks behind the scenes Absolutely. as well. I mean, we have a two and a half hour morning show. It takes a lot of folks, a lot of hands on to this. Yeah. So shout out to all of our crew. Happy holidays. Happy New Year to everyone. Yeah, that's right. All right. Coming up in the morning sprint, we have more pardons from Governor Evers. And right now, the increased price of pretty much all food items. We're taking a look at the impact that it's having on demand at local food pantries. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, please let us know so we can show their picture on TV. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. At Associated Physicians, do you know how much we offer all under one roof? It's a lot. From OBGYN, peds, and internal medicine, to lab, x-ray, behavioral health, and more. Associated Physicians, 233-9746. It's the Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale on now. Get top name brands of furniture for every room in your house. With hundreds of Lazy Boy recliners in stock starting at $3.99 and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale. Open New Year's Day 11 to 4. Do you have a coffee smile? Drinking coffee causes yellow teeth for thousands of people just like you. And whitening toothpaste just doesn't make those stains go away. Introducing Power Swabs, the first teeth whitening system that lifts coffee stains off your teeth in less than five minutes without whitening strips or trays. The Power Swabs were so easy to use. I don't have to have strips sitting on my face for an hour. I don't have to have a foam tray where I feel like I'm gonna gag or I'm gonna go play football. I've tried like every over-the-counter whitening because you know I'm one of those people that I'm like obsessed with white teeth. So with the strips I've used in the past, most of them are like you gotta leave it on for 30 minutes and the whole experience is just not comfortable. But with power swabs, I just snapped it open and rubbed it on and it was good to go. This didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab <laughs> and I just got a rub it on my teeth, and that was it. The secret is a tooth detergent and whitening agent developed by Dr. Martin Ginnicker that lifts stains off of your teeth. Power Swabs remove stains on natural teeth, veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. The best part is you just swab your teeth for five minutes and you'll have whiter teeth. No more sitting at home with a whitening strip or tray in your mouth for 30 minutes twice a day. When I used these whitening strips, I noticed when I would drink, I would get this crazy sensitivity. It would go right to my brain and I'm like, ah, I hate this. So why do I have to go through the monstrosity of this pain just because I want to whiten my teeth. With power swabs, there was zero sensitivity. Within the first day with the power swab, I noticed there was a difference. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's going to be wider. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Whiten your teeth this new year by ordering power swabs and receive up to 50% off the regular price. Yes, 50% off the regular price. Shipping is free, plus you'll receive Receive a free quick stick pen. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. It's the Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale on now. Get top name brands of furniture for every room in your house with a large selection of in stock inventory of power lift chairs and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale. Open New Year's Day 11 to 4. At Associated Physicians, do you know how much we offer all under one roof? It's a lot. From OBGYN, peds, and internal medicine, to lab, x-ray, behavioral health, and more. Associated Physicians, 233-9746. It's the Portage Furniture Store's New Year's Sale, on now. It is 6.52, time for the final morning sprint of the year. That's right, with the New Year's weekend coming up, the Tavern League of Wisconsin is asking people to plan ahead and make sure they have a safe ride home on New Year's Eve. And make sure you can check that out right over on channel3000.com. And an update from Dane County leaders about the ongoing Suck the Muck initiative. They say more than 25,000 pounds of sediment have been removed from area creeks and streams this year as part of an effort to improve quality and reduce the risk of future floods. Governor Evers announcing he recently pardoned an additional 171 people. That brings his total to 774 since taking office four years ago. During his first term, Evers set the record for most pardons issued by any Wisconsin governor in contemporary history. For a full list of pardon recipients, go to Channel 3000 mobile app.
Governor Evers also announced the Department of Veteran Affairs Secretary Mary Kohler will retire from state service next week. She has held the position since being appointed in 2019. Kohler's time as a public servant began back in 1980 when she joined the Navy. She went on to serve 28 years before retiring as a captain. Today, the House Ways and Means Committee will release former President Donald Trump's tax returns to the public. The committee spent years fighting in the courts for these documents. In November, the Supreme Court ruled Congress has a right to those taxes as part of its oversight role. President Biden capping a year off of what he calls historic progress by signing the omnibus funding bill. The massive $1.7 trillion legislation invests in medical research, disaster recovery, veterans health care, and provides military assistance to Ukraine. Biden tweeting this picture of him signing the bill into law, adding the quote, Look Looking forward to more in 2023. Explosions rattled villages and cities across Ukraine yesterday, damaging civilian infrastructure and killing at least three people in what Kyiv has called one of Moscow's biggest missile barrages since the war began back in February. Authorities had been cautioning for days that Russia was preparing to launch an all-out assault on that power grid to close out 2022. Search and rescue operations continue in Cambodia this morning after a fire swept through a casino killing more than 20 people. Emergency crews are back in the burned out building looking for dozens of people who are still missing. The structure near the Thai border also included a hotel. Some people were trapped in their rooms as flames tore through the building. At least 70 people were injured. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Soccer legend Pele has passed away at the age of 82. The soccer star was admitted to a Sao Paulo hospital last month for a respiratory infection and reevaluation of his chemo therapy treatment over colon cancer. Since hospitalizations, family members said the former soccer player had COVID and developed a lung infection. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest soccer players in history. Brazil's president has declared a three-day national mourning period in his honor. Legendary Marvel Comics creator Stan Lee will get the hero spotlight in a film about his life. Disney Plus unveiled the upcoming documentary in a tweet on the day that would have been his 100th birthday. Lee, who died in 2018, co-created iconic superheroes such as Spider-Man, The Hulk, Iron Man, and Black Panther, among others. Well, after our warm day yesterday, where we hit a record of 55, we are, have been dropping all night long. In fact, we just dropped a degree now here at 35 here in Madison. Even cooler, pretty chilly up there in La Crosse and Verroca with 20s. That's the secondary cold front. Westerly winds continue. Uh, just some clouds this morning. I think some of these clouds may thin out a little bit as we go in the afternoon hours. Uh, temperatures pretty much holding steady. Maybe drop a couple more degrees before we start to uh, climb going into the upcoming weekend. New Year's Eve night, we might see a brief shower just after midnight. Otherwise, a quiet weekend. A more significant storm system next week with some heavier rain, it looks like, uh, Monday night and Tuesday. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Thank you.